If you're looking for a powerful tool to create spatial depth and richness to your mixes, Eventide has announced Micro Pitch Immersive. In this video, we're gonna take an in-depth look at Micro Pitch Immersive to create an awesome immersive mix. This is Alex from Alex Pro Mix. Let's go! All right, so we got this track right here, and this song is called Holy Place by Josiah and the Bonnevilles. Check them out, incredible Nashville song, singer, songwriter, producer, recording engineer, mixer, <laughs> live performer. I mean, just an incredible guy to work with. You gotta check him out. So the first thing that I wanna identify in this arrangement is the acoustic guitar that happens in the intro. Check it out. Like the 4th of July. Acoustic guitar comes in, vocals come in, starts to tell the story, and the acoustics already have a little bit of chorusing effect from the production, but I want to create that immersiveness using micro pitch immersive. So this is a stereo stem that's already been processed. I'm using an object and I'm panning it here in the room. Now, with micro pitch immersive, I can use that as an aux and then basically have that come out of other sets of speakers or other places or locations in the room. So for that, we're gonna create a new track, Stereo Aux MPI for Micro Pitch Immersive, and I'm gonna call this Quad. I'll tell you why in a minute. And there it is right next to it. The output of this channel is gonna to go to the bed, the 712, and I'm going to instantiate the plugin. There it is, Micro Pitch Immersive, and we'll use Quad. So what's this do? This actually converts this stereo aux track into a quad configuration, and that quad configuration is gonna come out of four speakers. All right, so when I turn this up, when I turn this aux up, this guitar track is gonna go to the micro pitch, and then that's gonna come out of those speakers. So in my room, what I'm listening to is the stereo guitar track somewhere around here in objects, but then further away from me at a distance, I'm hearing the micro pitch effect, all right? Okay, cool, so we got the guitar track alone. Let's go ahead and bring in micro pitch. A couple of things that you can do is you can resize, which is really important. You can bypass, you also have access to the mixer. And here it shows four channels, front and surround. So first of all, I'm gonna crank up the mix to 100%. I'm gonna turn the feedback down some and I'm gonna increase the crossfeed. The crossfeed is gonna take these two channels and it's gonna spread them into all the surround channels. So check it out. We're gonna increase this signal right here it's gonna be fed to the micro pitch and then it's gonna come out of a quad configuration. Wow, that just sounds lovely. Let me increase the pre-delay, that way it doesn't get triggered right away. Let me come and create a little bit of distance. And that is just so amazing. So you guys can only hear the effect, let me do the following. I'm gonna go ahead and put this on pre-fader. I'm gonna mute the guitar track and I'm only gonna play uh, micro pitch immersive in quad mode and then I'll switch to the renderer so you guys can see that on the meters, check it out. So this is more of a moderate setting where I am basically hearing the dry guitar stem somewhere around here, but then I'm getting the uh, micro pitch immersive effect on the quad channels. Let's go ahead and hear this in the mix. Here we go. I'm little black the fourth of July. You're out with one of your Pretty guys who never worked a day in his life. I've been on the grindstone trying to make it right with songs in the money and God and my mama. The signs say go not to stop by the summer roads into nothing. We left something there on the table and fate just put it away. 
All right, I could just listen to the whole song. I really, really enjoy it. Before we get too excited here, I want to show you one really, 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 really important feature on this plugin. And I'm going to demonstrate this like away from the mix, okay? So when you have the micro pitch immersive on, there's this section here called pattern. And you can uh, choose a setting, either self, rotate left, or rotate right. And how does that work? Well, let me show you how that works. All right, so I am going to basically feed a signal generator, just pink noise. I'm going to feed pink noise, just a small blurb, into this plugin. And I want you guys to pay attention on what happens on these channels down here. For this to work properly, I'm going to increase the feedback, and I'm going to choose the crossfeed to 0%, and the mix is at 100%. I'm going to turn down the volume of my speakers, and I'm just going to send a small piece of pink signal through this plugin and watch what happens to these channels when we have the pattern set to rotate left. Check it out. Now, the way this works is that if you have the crossfeed at zero, it's going to take that signal and feed it to those distinct channels, center, right, side right, and so forth, depending on this pattern. But if you increase the crossfeed, then it's basically distributing everything to everywhere, right? And so a real cool technique for production, and this is where we start to get into immersive mixing for music production, is to be able to use the delay setting with the session setting. So now, for example, I can turn off the pre to none, and I can set this to like, uh, let's try quarter note and see what happens. Here we go, so we'll turn the crossfeed to zero, Crank up the feedback, and let's listen to that one more time. And that's at a quarter note. Let's try it at an eighth note. So you can get the idea really quickly that you can play around with these parameters and create this awesome swirling effect that sync to your session tempo. Take that for like a drum fill or an ad lib or a sound effect that happens once in the song and you can initially set that up so that it can swirl around the, the head and just basically spin around the listener. So such a really cool creative way of being able to use micro pitch immersive. All right, cool. So at the end of the song, we have this uh, harmonica that comes up. Let me go ahead and solo it and play it loud. And if we look at our object panner, this is basically panned towards the listener, but basically above the listener. So we'll change this to theater mode. You can see the height channels right there. Cool. All right. But what I want to do is I want to take this, and instead of feeding it to a reverb or a delay, which I did initially in the mix, I'm going to go ahead and mute that. I'm going to send it to a different instance of micro pitch and use that cascading effect. So let's go ahead and create new track, MPI, rotate. And we'll set this up really quickly. So we're going to set it to the bed. We're going to choose Immersive. OK, I'm going to set this to 100%. Delay is down. Let's go ahead and sync the session tempo. And this is why I always ask for the session tempo when I'm mixing an immersive uh, song, because I always want to be able to syn synchronize my effects to it. So let's go ahead and use eighth note. We'll set the feedback high. We'll turn the cross feed down. And then we'll set this to rotate right. And let's see if we can create like a cascading effect with this harmonica fill. Here we go. All right, that is so cool. And that's something that's really hard to fake with just other delays. This is something very, very unique to this plugin into the Eventide. All right, so lastly, let's go ahead and check this out in the mix. We're gonna go a little bit moderate. We're gonna turn this down and turn the feedback down and see how this sounds like in the mix. Here we go. All right, guys, so that's all the time that we have available for this video. I hope you really enjoyed it. And if you want to download a demo version of this plugin, be sure to visit eventide.com. If you're completely new to immersive mixing, you can find blog posts, articles, and videos at alexpromix.com, but most importantly, on YouTube for instructional videos. My name is Alex. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you again real soon. Peace.